Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Um, SmackDown Tag Team Title is going to be on the line at WWE's Elimination Chamber. It's going to be The Miz um, and Shane McMahon putting the titles on the line going up against The Usos. Um, lots of talk about The Usos right now. People thinking that um, The Usos are going to be leaving WWE. That they, they are you know, one of the many people on the roster that are uh, unhappy about their spot. I think that there's lots of rumors, you know, with the new wrestling company. Company starting up um, AEW that uh, you know anybody whose contract is going to be coming near um, that uh, you know they could be getting the itch um, to go work with Young Bucks and and try it out to, you know to see you know how much money um, the Jacksonville Jaguars really are going to be dumping into uh, this wrestling promotion. Um, definitely, they, they've you know already got Kenny Omega. Um, they've already got Chris Jericho, uh, Cody Rhodes, and the Young Bucks sort of come with it. But you know they've got lots of minor stars. They've got sort of lots of indie stars that uh, maybe aren't stars on the main level market. But you know they're bringing people in for for different reasons. Um, you know, there's so many rumors out there right now that they're going to sign Randy Orton. They're going to sign the Usos. They're going to, you know, there's they're going to come a point when they've signed enough people and they run out of money and they're not going to be able to sign anybody else. And then you got to wonder, you know, to carry this kind of payroll, um, what's going to have to suffer, whether if it's, you know, definitely for so many years, people have said, you know, what's the biggest problem with Ring of Honor television is that the lighting never looks good. I mean, it never, it's never able to hold up um, to WWE and definitely his impact um, is definitely taking step back after step back after step back. You know, the lighting and the production is something that's suffering huge um, from this so is that something that's you know gonna have to suffer um, in AEW um, I, I don't think the Usos will leave WWE definitely they've been in WWE for I want to guess since like 2010 so they're coming up on the 10-year um, uh, you know time that they've been on the main roster you know when they came in and they attacked the Hart dynasty um, right out of the gate and they won the championships um, they used to have Tamino with them, didn't they? Back in the day, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But, um, you know, the Usos, damn good team. I, I don't see them, um, you know, winning the titles. I'm not sure where this storyline is going to be going. Definitely in my mind, I think that the Miz and Shane are going to have a match, uh, at WrestleMania against each other. I think that, you know, basically anytime you have a tag team of two guys that are sort of put together and they don't really seem like they're you know, the best of friends, it, it makes sense to me that Miz and Shane would just go up against each other at WrestleMania, and that's the direction that they're going, especially when every year you look at the WrestleMania card, you have to factor in what is Shane McMahon going to do, um, and I can't really think of anybody that, you know, the Miz and Shane as a tag team would have a match against at WrestleMania, so I'm not sure if the Usos are going to be the team that beats them and that causes their split, uh, I just I just don't really see the Miz and Shane going on this long undefeated streak as a tag team, just defeating everybody on the SmackDown roster, um, and so that's why I have um, them breaking up. I'm just not sure if it's gonna happen against this Usos team.